my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a get ready with me. And maybe like a bit of a story time. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a story time. You guys loved it when I spilled this here and like shared some stories with you. So I thought today we'll do a get ready with me. You can see a little bit about what I put on my face and then we can, you know, have a little bit of a chat together. A bit of a girly chat. Unless there's some boys in here, then, you know, join the girly chat with us. We invite everyone, you know, this is a safe place. It is currently nearly one o'clock, which is quite late, I know. I know, we're only just getting ready. Has everyone been okay though? Has everyone been fine and dandy? I've had such a good week. Obviously it's Monday right now, but last week was a really, really good week, you know. I really did really enjoy myself. And do you know what? Last week I hardly did any workouts or exercise. We're gonna beat last week. We're gonna have a better week and you're gonna have a better week too, guys. Just realize that by the time you watch this, it's gonna be Thursday. So, you know, the week's gonna be halfway through, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna, not gonna have an absolutely crazy, fun packed, amazing lockdown weekend. Without further ado, we should just, you know, whip straight into the video. You need to be hitting that subscribe button. Like the video as well, because obviously I have confidence that you're going to enjoy. Be hitting this subscribe button before you find out the gossip. Just quickly as well, I want to kind of explain the mirror story behind me. I'm obviously in the middle of a frame, which I thought was quite cute. Like, I am the picture. The reason why there is just a random frame behind me is because my mirror smashed. <laughs> yeah, my mirror smashed. I did just keep it just in case I wanted to get like a mirror to put in the middle of it, you know, at some point in my life. Anyway, moving on. We're going to be going in with my eyebrows first. I always do my eyebrows first. It is literally all gone. What a poor excuse for an eyebrow pencil. What is that? At, at least you know that I'm telling the truth and I do use it. So I use the Rimmel eyebrow pencil and I use it in the shade dark brown. I did try and go and get another one, but they're always sold out. Like they never have any in. They always have the other colors, but not this one. I think this one's obviously quite popular. I mean, if they always sell out, I would have thought that they'd bring more in more regularly, but we'll, we just won't talk about that. Everyone is always so surprised when I tell them that I use um, an eyebrow pencil because I think everyone else uses like a liquid brow or something like that. And whenever I say eyebrow pencil, they're like, surely not and i'm like surely like it's really really good going straight in with this a lot of people know about my tiktok that went viral but not a lot of people know the story behind the tiktok so i'm going to be sharing the tea today <gasps> do you know what should we be putting the cool transition again i think we do i think we do go <laughs> I had a TikTok that went viral and it got 1 million views. I'm not going to show you what it is because you can go and follow my TikTok to do that and then, you know, you can maybe give it a like and follow me. So two years ago now, that is literally so long ago. How long is that though? So two years ago, I was in ARC, I think it was. Oh my God, that is so weird to say. ARC. <coughs> Bottom floor, you know, having a little bit of a boogie with my friends. I'm actually going to give you all a shout out right now. I know that Abby was there, Ellie was there, Sophie was there, Katie was there and Caitlin was there. So I think it was only Corinne who wasn't there and I was very, 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 very drunk. You know, as you do, as you do when you go out and you're what? 18 years old. Long story short, I thought I'd seen Perry from Diversity and I approached him and I asked him and I asked him for a picture and you know, I danced with him. Oh, wow, this is Perry from Diversity. He dances, you know, I'll maybe throw in a few shapes as well, really promote myself out there. But as you probably guessed, it wasn't Perry from Diversity. Me fully out there, very, very confident, really, you know, going for it, thinking this guy from Diversity and he's not. Please go and give that a watch. Go and find it. My friends be laughing. They knew it wasn't him, but do you, when, do you know when you're drunk and you just... I feel like you don't listen to anyone, do you? And I just say, this guy, this guy was going along with it. He wasn't there like, no, it's not me. He was there like, it's me. A little bit further down the line, maybe a year later this is, so this is last year, I'll be my friend. She messaged me with a trend and was like, oh my gosh, you should well do this TikTok. It's basically where you think you've met a celebrity and you've not. So I was like, do you know what? Do you know what? I will. I'll, I'll do the TikTok because it's really funny. At this point, I wasn't really taking it seriously. I post it, the views start coming in, then the likes and it goes crazy, like insane. I think that's got like 130,000 likes. Bearing in mind at this point, I literally have like 63 followers or like 74 followers. It just went insane and it's got a million views. But this isn't even the best bit of the story, right? But everyone was coming in Perry Keeley's name. If you don't know who Perry Keeley is, by the way, he was in diversity. like a group that was on Britain's Got Talent a long, long time ago, like years and years and years ago. I was really, you know, reeling in the fame at this point. Everyone was proper buzzing over this TikTok. First of all, the guy who was in the TikTok, who I thought was Perry, commented on the video. This guy found my TikTok, found the video and commented on it. And that's not even the best, 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 best spit. Perry Keeley seen the video and commented on it. 
you know what? I'm going to get a screenshot and put it like here or here and show you that Perry Keely seen the TikTok and commented on it and thought it was funny. Honestly, my whole day was made. Everyone was like, how iconic is this guy who's in the video and Perry Keely commented on it? I was like, I know, that's me. Whoa. Obviously, I've just done like a bit of like a natural brow. Next, I'm going to go with Barry M Concealer. I have Shade Cookie. So I used to have NARS Concealer all the time, but obviously everyone knows that's a little bit pricey. It's literally, I think, probably the same quality as NARS. I live and swear and breathe this now. If any makeup artists are watching me, I can't can't do makeup don't judge me this is just me getting ready with you guys so after the tiktok kind of goes viral perry keely's manager messages me on instagram right this guy messages me on instagram i'm like surely not surely not he goes hi we've seen your tiktok about perry and we think it's absolutely amazing we think it's really funny we want to invite you on to kiss fm to have a chat with perry and jordan because they've got their own talk show on kiss fm would you like to come on and we basically just want you to like explain the story and whatnot so i was like yeah i got to speak to perry keely and jordan banjo on the phone i really do be feeling like a celebrity at this point i think it was on their instagram the kiss fm instagram so you can probably go and find that somewhere and i had to go and basically explain the story and talk to them so i mean what a dream come true because i know a lot of girls out there be liking perry keely i know ellie was a little bit jealous yeah. It was so lovely, like literally so lovely. It was really, really fun. Oh, do you know what? I can do it in the camera. Oh, look who it is. I had to put some makeup on. Little bit. Yes. I'm only joking. We do not use animal products on, we do not use makeup on animal products. I just found another story time for us. Baby, should we tell them about the day that you nearly died? I'm going to tell you that story because that was a horrendous, traumatic experience for me. I was traumatized, point blank traumatized. Fifi nearly died. I saved a life. I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm now just going to go in with like this little brow gel. I don't actually know where this makeup obsession is. That where it's from i don't know oh no i think i bought this from pit little thing actually but i literally just i don't do it to like get the laminated effect really because i know you can get quite strong gels for that mine's just to kind of like create more of a natural brow look it kind of makes it quite wispy which is quite nice and obviously i just brush them up just a tiny bit i feel like it also allows the pencil to spread almost perfect just get like a tiny bit of this iconic illuminator and i literally just put like a dot there a dot there and a dot there and a dot there and then i get my monsterizer and i like just rub everything in and i feel like it just gives me that kind of like glowy kind of monsterizer look and then after that i'll be putting my mac foundation on i will always 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 use this it's my favorite foundation and it's the only foundation that doesn't give me spots every other foundation gives me spots on it lets me break out and i don't know if it's because i've always used that so my skin's so used to it or because it's so light but it's still really good coverage so i use that and it's the face and body one and i use it in c5 i think it is that's my color on to her near death experience with fifi we went to holland with lake this is me and my mum you'll be taking your dogs out for a walk in the summer and you be throwing six in the lake, don't you? So let your dog cool off. Dogs get really warm, so all my dog friends know a good dog likes to go and chase a stick in the lake when it gets hot. And that is exactly what Fifi does. Fifi has got some sort of determination I will never understand. It doesn't matter how dangerous or hard or whatnot, Fifi wants to please. As soon as I threw that stick, she was like, no, I will get that stick and I will bring it back to the master. Where am I going with this now? So my mum went to the toilet. Do you know how the Miflates toilet's like? that's in the middle of the lake there's like a cafe and there's toilets and she goes to the toilet obviously i go to the lake and i'm throwing a stick for her and i don't realize how far i'm throwing it and fifi bless her goes and swims to get the stick but the thing is with fifi she panics she's a panicker dog as she's going in to swim to get this stick she realizes how far she is and she kind of loses control because she's not a very good swimmer because she's quite heavy she's quite chubby she's not chubby she's just got she's just got a lot of muscle to her so she goes to grab the stick turns around realizes how far she's gone and sort of i seen like the thought process in her head was like oh fudge like how far have a bloody come i don't can i swim back and i was like fifi come on come on you can do it like as you would do i was like oh like trying to give her encouragement and this girl this dog goes under the water full body is under the water her full head is under the water i don't think i've ever seen a dog go under the water to swim this dog was drowning. It, honestly, it was it was horrible. So I'm just screaming at her, like shouting, like, Fifi, come on, you can do it, Fifi. Literally in tears, like, I'm literally crying at this point. And she goes under again. It, obviously, it wasn't ages, but she didn't really come back up. It was, like, all in, like, a split second. So I go and swim out in the lake. 
I saved my dog. Obviously it wasn't really, really far, but I did have to like do the stroke. It wasn't where I could just stand like I stroked. It wasn't in the middle of the lake. It was literally like just over there. But you know, when there's like a tiny bit of a drop, I could still kind of go on my tiptoes, but I was like, well, all the way up to here. I picked her up by the harness and like swam back. Bearing in mind, I was literally in absolute floods of tears. Very horrendous. My mum comes back. I'm like, mum, I've just been <laughs> Honestly, that for a good day, she was a bit traumatized. But obviously, and the Hollywood Flakes Lake, they say like, don't swim and stuff, don't they? I'm sure you're not supposed to swim and stuff like that. But you've got to do what you've got to do for your dogs, don't you? Like, they're literally like your babies. And I wasn't just going to, like, leave her while she was under the water. I also go with my, my concealer before I even do that. She was getting carried away with myself, wasn't I? I just literally just go like that. Oh, it's quite nice to use the camera, actually. Nothing too special. This is just what works best for me. I just kind of put it anywhere, to be honest. And then get my egg. Do you know what? The one thing that I wish is, like, I was really, really good at makeup. Because it is like a skill, isn't it? It's like an art. Like, makeup artists are literally painting a face. I can't do eyeshadow to save the life of me. Like, you will not be seeing me do an eyeshadow at all, even attempting it in this video. I literally don't even wear it. I just don't even wear it, even when I'm going out. Unless someone does my makeup for me. That's why I get my makeup done so much. Like, my mum's going to come in. I bet my mum comes in. Watch. Watch. Because I did. Sorry about that. Just got a message from someone. I don't know what to tell you because I'm gonna make a video on it. Do I just tell you? I don't know. Something excited happened and everyone everyone already knows if you've got me on Instagram, but I'm gonna make a full on YouTube video about it. So I might not even mention it in this video, but just know that they've messaged me and something's coming. The dogs are fighting. I came out in front of the yacht and the dogs across the road. And as soon as they saw me, they were like, that is what that's what my dogs do so yeah i'm just gonna quickly go over the again people don't usually wear blusher but i really do feel like it makes you look a bit more slightly alive than what you know usually look just you know give me a bit of color to my face is everyone excited for the summer though oh my lord i am so excited for the summer literally cannot wait to go on a holiday me and my friends are actually booking to go abroad i have high hopes for 2021 i do feel like it's going to be all of our year. It's going to be all of our year. The last time I went away was Spain. I went with Joe to go and see my nana. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. We nearly didn't go. Well, this was in August, so we kind of just got to go because I know a lot of people flights got cancelled and a lot of people couldn't go but we went I think it was like the 8th of August and we booked to go for a week and then we stayed for 12 days because we didn't want to leave so we went to stay with my nanas in Spain because they lived there. I don't know if I mentioned that before. I feel like I have. It was really fun but this sounds like such a fake reason but if you know me you know this happened the day before we flew so we booked the flights the day before we flew like it was a really spur on the moment like we're just going to go abroad now but on the night of going when we was booking to go i fudge you not right my dogs chewed joe's passport Do you know what the passport's in my cupboard now i'll show you this is joe's passport i'm sure he won't mind me showing you they chewed that or you can't go to an airport with a chewed passport because they don't let you fly because they say it's like tampering with and you could have you could have made it up. So he flew with this. Obviously, it's a bit more chewed than it was because we've had this quite a while now and it's broken off more. So it wasn't this bad. So we was like, oh, do we still like chance it and go? Because anyone says if you have like a little bit of a faulty passport, they literally just will not let you fly. And we were so nervous about it. Just quickly, guys, I'm going to just stick some highlighter on. So yeah, we was like super, super nervous. We was like, oh, like Joe was pretty much getting ready to not fly he'd gone into the Ryanair website because that's who we were flying with and he asked them like and sent them a picture because you can speak to like people on the chat can't you like the 24-hour chat and was like hi what do you think like would, would we be okay in flying and I don't actually think they got back to us in the time that before we flew because this was literally the night before we were literally flying the next morning I was really upset obviously I think I cried I can't remember just because I was a bit like I'm going away and now we can't I'm quite nervous on planes on my own I know you shouldn't be but I've got quite like like, not a fear but i don't really like getting them on my own so i was just thinking like if joe can't work, come with me then i'm literally going to be flying on my own and that is just not what we want really anyway the next day obviously we go to the airport who drops us off now i think my mum drops us off actually everything is all fine and dandy you know we showed this woman the passport she was like oh can i see passports please i showed a man showed joe's everything was perfect but there was a guy next to her who was also checking passports and he was kind of like overlooking not like overlooking us specifically but you know when you it just happened to be that moment i looked over and it was like hang on a minute no that's what 
to that. That's false. Yeah. And we were like, surely not. Like this woman's literally just come up to us and said it was all fine. We're just about to walk through to security, and then he says it's faulty. He's like, no, we can't fly with that. Hang on, just gonna show you that I'm going in with this lip liner. I always, 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 always swear by Spice in Mac. Mac's got a lip gloss. It's called Spice, and I get the Spice lip liner as well. It's gone. It's literally gone. So I've gone to see if I can get this. Um, it's obviously not as good as the Spice one. And I don't actually have the Spice lip gloss left either. I literally wear it all the time and it's quite pricey. And because I'm not going out, I don't want to buy it and just be wearing it for TikToks and stuff. So I'm not going to be buying that until we go back out again. This guy's like, no, they can't fly. I'm actually not going to be able to speak while doing this one second. But he's so rude about it, guys. Like, so rude. He wasn't like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, you're not going to be able to fly. He's like, no, that's false. Like, you can't fly. So I was like, hang on a minute. This woman's just said it's all right. You, and you're being really rude about it. I've never seen a guy rude. He's obviously just woken up on the wrong side of bed. Probably not had his coffee this morning. And thought he'd kick off at us. The woman, who obviously let us off, was like, oh, well, I can send it to my supervisor if you like. Because obviously it's, we could let you fly. But it's whether Spain will accept it when you get there. Joe was like, well, yeah, can you send it to your um, supervisor, please? Because this guy, this rude guy was like, nyam, nyam, nyam. Well, jokes on him because quick bullet glass break. Anyway, she sends it to the passport, takes a picture of the passport, and sends it to a supervisor. She says, "Yeah, that's fine." This guy, who was having a bad day, if it was just him, if it was up to him, he, we would be going home. But this lovely lady sent it to a supervisor who said it would be fine. He was literally so nervous all the way to Spain because he was like, "Oh my god, like what about if the Spain people actually don't let us through? What are we gonna do then?" But when we got to Spain, we were totally, well and truly fine. Dandy had a brilliant time. Crazy though, when you're there, literally have to wear a mask outside unless you're on a beach or you're sat at a restaurant. Last thing that I do, should I put lashes on? Don't need lashes on really, do I? Now I'm gonna go in with this Barry M mascara. And if you do not make a weird face when you do mascara, then are you even a girl? gonna be booking a few holidays i think i also have like this iconic spray which i spray after but you know sometimes it kind of gives me too much of a shiny look my hair be looking nice and healthy nice and healthy and it's because i've not been washing it as much actually lovely let that set should we do like a little bit of like a fashion <laughs> up complete so that means the video's done oh thank you so much for staying around and watching i hope you enjoyed story time and enjoyed you know watching me while using my face maybe it's like maybe you like some of the products and you're gonna go buy it for yourself do you know what i really quite enjoyed doing these relaxing like chill kind of relaxed videos obviously i did a kfc mukbang video and i really enjoyed doing that so i thought i'd come back again and do a sit down video of a get ready with me and show you what i use on my face and you know really well into some of the stories i hope you all enjoyed if you did enjoy the video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell when you hit the bell that basically will send you a notification every time i put a video out so you just know that i put a video out obviously you guys know that i'll be posting every single thursday but i mean just in case you forget if you hit the bell then you know it will remind you comment down below telling me that you enjoyed the video and i hope you all have a lovely day thanks so much for watching bye